How's it going, y'all? First off, it's incredibly quiet. So hopefully you guys can hear me fine. We just made it to Joshua Tree uh, in California. This is my first time here. First time really spending any time in the desert. I'm here with my wife, Maddie, and her parents, my in-laws, Bill and Tina, the legendary Bill and Tina. Um, it's their first time to California. So we came out here for just like a little trip with them and uh, I'm gonna be blasting through some rolls here in the desert. So I've only been here for an hour. We got here right at sunset and it's just one of the most peaceful settings I think I've been in in a long time. I freaking love it out here. I also feel like I'm in the middle of the movie Tremors with Kevin Bacon. Uh, so that was one of the most terrifying movies for me as a child. Uh, there was, I think I, there was a two day stretch where I never even got out of bed because I was afraid to touch the ground. So, uh, there's that. But other than that, I'm just going to be out here, uh, taking photos, y'all. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. So it's 12.20 right now, and a lot of my friends, maybe not even friends, but a lot of people in general don't like shooting midday. They go super hard in the morning, super hard in the evening, you know, that, that prime lighting, which I love as well. But I also love shooting midday, um, especially when I'm film, uh, because I have a lot of control. I guess you have control in digital as well, but specifically I've done it enough to where it's not that intimidating. So I'm gonna try to show you guys uh, for those of you that shoot film, don't be too intimidated by shooting midday, no clouds. Literally, there's not a cloud in the flipping sky. Uh, so hopefully this will encourage you not to be intimidated by midday, bright sun, no cloud shooting, because I think uh, you can actually get some really beautiful detail and some really stunning images uh, in these kinds of conditions.
How's it going, y'all? Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll make this quick, just a minute or two more. This video that you just watched uh, was a very simple trip that I did with my wife, uh, Maddie, and her parents, Bill and Tina. They had never been to California, so we went. I thought this was a perfect time for me to kind of make a video. I'd never been to the desert or Joshua Tree, so we spent half of our time in Joshua Tree and the other half of our time in Venice, California. Uh, which is where you see these photos from. Uh, but going into it, I thought I was gonna be this huge production. I was gonna make all these videos and things started to happen with Maddie and her family. It just made more sense for me to just make some photographs, film a little here, film a little there, uh, not do a big production, just enjoy my time uh, with Maddie and her parents. And I'm very glad that I did that. Uh, we had a beautiful time and I really love the way that the photos turned out. Uh, so thank you so much for watching through this. Next thing, this is not an ad. This is not a paid sponsorship whatsoever, but I did launch something a few weeks ago that I'm very excited about. Uh, I went to Iceland a few months ago, you guys know this, and made a lot of photographs, shot about 35 rolls in medium format. And this new platform, I was approached by my buddy James uh, from 4Card and he had this incredible idea and this, this new platform uh, to be able to share larger bodies of work, uh, long form blog, photo journal type uh, structure. And I was like, you know what, this is a, this is a beautiful opportunity for me to share, uh, instead of just sharing the one-off photographs on, on Instagram. So when he approached me with this, I thought this was a beautiful way for me to just share more of my process and what I'm doing as well as a larger body of work at one time to where you can sit at a laptop or a desktop, even on your phone, it's mobile friendly and just kind of slow down because Instagram, it's everything so fast paced. We're spending half a second on an image, if that. Um, so to be able to slow down and to absorb and digest a longer body of work is something I do personally, whether it's on a photo book or other online publications that I uh, partake in. So for $5 a month, you get two long form uploads. The second one's coming in about six days. This first one's from Iceland, 173 film photographs, medium format, as well as a 30 minute uh, podcast that you press play and just scroll through the images. I'm just really excited to share more on this kind of platform uh, instead of just everything on Instagram. I'll still be doing YouTube videos as often as I can, uh, but if you're wanting a little bit more and something different, check it out, link in the description. Uh, I really hope you guys consider joining the party. It's gonna be wild. This next upload, don't wanna to share too much. It's coming in about five days. Uh, it's gonna be all about street photography, specifically at night with flash. So really hope you guys tune in. That's coming on November 21st. Uh, consider joining and subscribing, uh, five bucks a month and you get too long form uh, photo essay journal type stuff with video potentially uh, with podcast, me sharing thoughts through it all. It could be a lot of different things. It's going to evolve over the months and weeks to come. And I'm very excited for you guys to be a part. So other than that, thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hopefully there'll be another video next week, but I'm pretty inconsistent and I'm trying my hardest to make this consistent. So thank you guys for being patient and uh, all the kind words and DMs and messages on Twitter that you guys have uh, shared. I'm very excited about this YouTube thing. It's been super fun to flex different creative muscles and to have uh, a separate outlet to share uh, video and film photographs. Uh, the film photography community is growing and I think that's encouraging and uh, it's just an honor to be a part of it. So thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Feel free to check out the subscription guys. It's going to be wild.